you literally like Diaz Riley um, uh, established. You selling yourself to get the job in the first place is actually wrong. Now you still work with her. You sitting and watching him divorce his wife come for you. Now you have a child. And you see, the thing is, because she knew what she did to get to where she was, if she sees a similar yeah. thing, she's able to identify <laughs> it. they be like, yeah. eh, this person is this one. Hello guys, welcome once again to your favorite podcast in the whole wide world is the FNF Catchy Dialogues. Going straight into today's video, we begin with our F, what, how do we call it? F FFT. FFT, our yeah. food for thoughts. Yeah. So today's one is interesting. It says that, do not forget, some give little and it is much for them. Others give all and cause them no efforts who then has given the most should i say it again yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't forget so this one is from nat hamson so it's k-n-u-t hamson he says don't forget right some give little but it's much for them to them they give little but to them it's a lot yeah yeah and others give everything they give all and it costs them no effort yeah. to give it who then has given the most the first one so we'll the first one the yeah. person first who one. gives little yes. but it's much for them yes yeah. and then how about the one who gives all i know right but you but see you think that because he's got more than enough and he doesn't feel and it, it costs them no you, effort yeah you yeah. think you know, they've, but, they've not given. Yeah, at yeah. the end of the day, I feel like they've all done their bits and they will all receive their blessings. Yes. So, guys, that's our food for thought. Um, I want you to explain it in your own words in the comment section. For me, right, uh, before I go into the discussion for today, I told Elizabeth, my my wife, please don't come 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 at me for saying my wife my wife when, when, yeah. when, every <laughs> single time, time. Wait. my wife <laughs> so when we're friends when, we, my wife. when we're friends right i told her um, she used to help me a lot back in school she she was that generous person she helped me so much i told her that there are some people that have let's say 10 million they give you a million which is a lot but there are others that give you 50 out of the 100 that they've got. And I was using myself as an example that you give me a lot. But it's a fraction of what you have got. But the one I've got, the little I've got, I give you half of it. Though comparatively, yours is more bigger than mine. But I've given you a bigger share of what That's I have. Well, so well, I've given yeah. you a lot like I've sacrificed yeah. a lot to you. Yeah. So it means that I value that thing that the value when you're measuring it in value terms, mine is bigger. Yeah. 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 Makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. I think because that not depend on the amount I give you. Mm. I think it's depends and it's more important. Yeah. The efforts I do it the for give you. That comes yeah. with it. And yeah. the intention I give you. Yeah, exactly. The emotion that comes the with emotion, it. The yeah. emotion, the yeah. support, because yeah. you say with your wife, she give you support. She stay with you even mm -hmm. when you don't have enough. Mm -hmm. No matter if you don't have or not. That mm -hmm. is more important. Yeah. Sometimes simple things make a big difference, difference than yeah. big things. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we've got a big, would I say a controversy or a story or a gist. We're going to digest it today. Uh, I want to say something before you start with the topic about relative, about what I was talking before. Mm -hmm. I think you have to teach your children as a uh, give an importance to the most important things than mm -hmm. the materials, because mm -hmm. in that century, that is very common. Yeah. Childs, you have to give up everything to the child because the child never will be happy. Mm. And you teach it. 
you have to teach the person how to be a good person, not about materials, mm. about feelings, support, yeah. how to be a really good person. Mm. That is the most important thing. Yeah. And we actually, we are lose that. We lose that, yeah. We pay attention to the material things rather than so the things we if can So if see. my child say, I want an iPhone, and you tell her, I cannot give you now, just to give you a sample, because I have to work hard to give you your food, your uniform, mm. a good school. Mm. They don't mind in the school. They don't mind <laughs> nothing. I want the iPhone. Yeah. You have to find a way and be a good father and teach your child how to be a good person for as a future. Yeah. Not now. Yeah, Not cool. Now, yeah. yeah, that's very solid. But for, for that things, many, many relationship, many re friend relationship, any kind of relation fail. Yeah. Because in that century, everybody thinking in material things. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Very true. Yeah, that's very, very good. Very true. So that's Diaz for you. She is our guest today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about this. Listen. So this is uh, a a treat from Tasha Zulu Babe. It reads. It's not so this is not a person's personal story sharing someone else's story i slept with someone in order to get a job well he continued sleeping with me after i got a job and we ended up falling in love he divorced his wife and we got married in 2021 we have a son together now in february he hired a new pa i don't know if i'm overthinking but I don't like how he looks at her. It seems like there's something they are doing outside work. I confronted him about it and he told me to resign and be a housewife. If I have a problem with who he hides, so I should resign if I have a problem. Maybe it's paranoia playing with my head, but I feel like that young girl is about to replace me. I'm a Christian. But I have been having many African thoughts in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just uh, summarize this thing. So she was working for this man uh, as a PA or as a secretary or something. Started sleeping with the man before getting the job. And after getting the job, the man continued sleeping with her. Divorced his wife, potentially because of this said yeah. lady. They have a kid now. They are married. To, they are together. And then the man has hired a new PA. So the lady was still working with the man mm. when they were together. Yeah. And the man has got a new PA. And he's having some canal knowledge about the, about the new PA. Which this lady is not comfortable with. Mm. So she thinks it's paranoia, but she won't help. Is it that the man is actually doing something? Because the man asked him that if she's not comfortable with who he hires, she should resign. What help can we give to this lady? What advice can we give to this lady? Should she take her mind off? The or... audacity to even think that she needs rescuing out of the situation. I'll let Diaz go first. So, she, she made two mistakes from the beginning. The first one was to sell her body for a job because that is kind of self sell it she yeah. sell it her body for yeah. a job so yeah. she, she traded that's, it she gave it at nice. exchange mm. that's not nice i think if you want to give uh, your body to someone it's because you like it or because you're feeling something for that person mm. that is was the first one mm. and the second one she didn't think in she get the the price but also she get the trader <laughs> absolutely Ab she she absolutely she, agree yeah yeah, 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 yeah. doing the same with her yeah completely that, agree with you that noise that. paranoia yeah. that is the happen of course that's the reality it yes. will happen yeah. definitely <laughs> he abandoned her wife we don't know how many years he have with the wife if, yeah but how you how come you will think this guy <laughs> don't will do the same with you <laughs> it's true it's true. It's Absolutely. That, that's, that's why I was saying the audacity for her to think that she's not going to get payback in some way. It's, 
you literally like Diaz Riley um, uh, established. You selling yourself to get the job in the first place is actually wrong. Now you still work with her. You sitting and watching him divorce his wife come for you. Now you have a child. And you see, the thing is, because she knew what she did to get to where she was, if she sees a similar yeah. thing, she's able to identify it. they be like, yeah. eh, this person is this walking what I my did step. It, so, yeah. And that's what's going to happen to yeah. me. So of course that happened. Yeah, exactly. So she's she, like, you see, oh, this man obviously has that trait. It's his m- yeah. modus operandi. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think she deserves it? Of like, course. She deserves it. I, abs- well, like, you can't say, but she kind of does. <laughs> because, yeah, you literally did that to another person and yeah. another person's going to do it to you. the other thing is, if she don't want to leave him, I stop to thinking in that. I start to searching for thorns and run. Because you will kill yourself. You will get mental health problems. Yeah. So... Stop to searching. Forget about that. If you want to stay, don't search for problems because that will kill more the relation. So she should just enjoy the moment and stop worrying about what because the man Because she know in. already the man that will can do it. happen. Of, of course. <laughs> if you do it one time, it will repeat the same thing. Hmm. But but how can how are people comfortable knowing that they are the cause for? Uh, a man leaving his wife. How would you be comfortable that this man has chosen me? I'm the reason why this man has left his wife. You and see, you are, you some are. there there are times where people are not privy <clears throat> people are not privy to that information. That's there are times where people don't know mm-hmm. that their partners have wives or have you know all of that. Maybe she found out later. Mm. If she found out later when they were married that oh this man actually had a wife, blah blah blah, then it's a bit different mm. but if she knew and she still walked her it looks uh, like she knew it looks yeah, like she it looks knew. like that like looks she knew when she walked her way into it so what 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 exactly is she expecting a man that is able to leave the wife and kids or whatever it is and come for you can equally leave you and go for the next yeah. person that sense of entitlement from however you are. yeah definitely the man was able to do that to another person you're not you're not any special yeah no do you get some it? some some women think it's okay he decide to stay with me and abandon her wife i am a i have a victory no yeah. some women don't think in that mm-hmm. yeah before the consequence about what you're doing yeah so you cannot expect in you doing something wrong and you will get something good after. No. no everything wrong you're doing on your life you will have a consequence. You know, there's something called karma. Do you know karma? karma. Yes. Do you believe in karma? Of course. <laughs> Fifi, Every... do, you, do you believe in karma? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I believe in you reap what, what you, you sow. Exactly. Not where you sowed it or when you sowed it, mm. but you definitely reap it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Maybe if she realized that, and even if she know and she decide leave him, before he abandoned her wife maybe that will be a good decision before but yeah so she decide to continue so yeah exactly now the only things the only way you have it is assume the consequence of your actions yeah it is what it is every time you have to assume the consequence of your actions she shouldn't even be complaining. Like <laughs> she has she to should, write. Yeah, you, she needs to accept this L and just. Well, if you want to move out of the house, move out. Yeah. If you want to continue the marriage, stay. Let second madam come. Exactly. But you don't literally kill did that too. Don't kill yeah. yourself. I he trained me. But of course, he know. You know already. Yeah, you you trained, yeah. So. You did. You you joined hands to betray someone else. Mm. So you've got absolutely. The decision in her hands. Yeah. She want to leave him. Go to the all to the house. Yeah. You want to stay? Close your mouth. Yeah. And, and watch things so unfold. It's like keep quiet and, and so Yeah. <laughs> and watch and watch a reflection of what you did unfold before your eyes. Yes. Oh my god. Literally. Yeah. 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 And uh, you you the 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 good option is yeah. go to the house. Leave it. 
Leave the house. Leave in the house. Even if you have child, so don't stay in a toxic relationship because you have a child or because you don't want to leave your partner. No. Mm. Toxic relationship. Go, go out. Run away. Yeah, yeah, run away. If it's toxic, work out. You know, sometimes people are tempted to stay in a relationship because they feel they've made some sort of investment yeah. or the thing oh we built the future together it's, or it's, we built it's a big it's, it's a it's, very it's big it's painful. issue it's painful it hurts the years from the beginning, the, yeah it's a lot but if it's not healthy you just walk out from the beginning is a toxic relationship so toxic is toxic even if it's family you don't force it you don't obligate it to stay in it any place you feel in bad mm. so the best option for her is get the child and abandon the guy mm. that is the best option wow yeah <laughs> absolutely and you see the the definition for toxic um relationship has been probably centered on um when the guy is maltreating you mm. or you know abuse or anything at all that makes you stressed mentally, in your yeah. mentally yeah yes that's toxic because yeah. you get yeah physical and also mental yeah. abuse yeah. because most of the time people think the abuse is just physical yeah no just this simple the simple thing to break the truth mm. is abuse exactly mm. because mental. you don't respect me but she cannot expect that from him mm. yeah. because even her didn't respect her as a woman because True. from the beginning you have to think in an, in the other lady you have to put it in her shoes yeah, yeah absolutely and you didn't think in that so yeah. now as i told you before you have to assume the consequence there you go man anything you want to add <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the last bit of of this uh, story i read she said she's having Ghanaian traditional thoughts in her mind. Oh. Do you know what that means, Diaz? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you believe in spirituality? Uh-huh. Like witchcraft, voodoo, voodoo juju. spirit, some, somebody who take you to um, maybe yes, I believe a in traditional that. medicine practitioner and do, do something yes, against as I told, you. As I told you, I came from a mix of country. We have also Africans. Yeah. Uh, culture in, in my country we believe in that but not make no sense so she can not, she can't do it but that no will change she, she's not, going to tie the man no, that, for for men yeah <laughs> to do for keep men. the man she forever the man. she can do it maybe but can, for how long maybe can but for how long you see you after, wouldn't even be happy knowing that whatever after after the time yeah it will feel in she will feel in unhappy with exactly them. Because you know whatever you're enjoying is not genuine. Yeah. You cannot force yeah. people to stay with you. Mm. As I told you, trade is a decision, personal decision. Mm. If he wants to do it, he will do it. You cannot yeah. force the person yeah. to stay with you. No. no. And to think she said she's a Christian. She's yeah. a Christian, but yeah, she, like, she's thinking, no. This I have to go and solidify yeah. it somewhere. Girl and you do this. <laughs> you sell your body Bro. because you want to get a job. Do you know it's difficult. That, no, no, that, no, 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 no. There's so many people that struggle to get jobs. But bro, no yeah, matter what, who no matter what, can't make ends meet. They they can't eat. They and they go there. I they can't find judge, jobs. I don't want to judge the lady. Exactly. But I don't you want see, what's wrong? Is wrong. I don't it's know. Hard. Yeah, it's 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 what very situation? wrong. I don't know was her to go and do it yeah i don't know mm. i don't want to judge i just talking yeah. about that in general yeah exactly because yeah. i am a woman yeah I, I maybe tomorrow i i can have a, the yeah. same situation and but you have to think in that few things important thing before you do it yeah exactly you know that once you've been able to carry it out to another person you should know it can be done for you so like i said it doesn't matter where you sold it or when you sold it. Where you sold it might be different from where you reap it. Mm. And when you reap it will be different from when you sold it. But definitely there will be a reap and there will be a sow. Okay, so <laughs> that brings us to the end of this episode. And the question of the day is, do you think this woman deserves what she's getting now? Do you, do you believe that... Um, 
she has no right to complain. Put your thoughts in the comment section. Like, share this video. And if it's your first time watching us, please subscribe. It's the FNF Catchy Dialogues. Until we meet in our next episode, we say bless. Peace out. <laughs>